just looking at these people and how different human beings all exist in the same time period and the same millennia, it actually feels really, really freaky. And uh, it comes down to gene genetics. I'm going to try and explain it. boys and girls it's been a long time i haven't recorded a video in about like a week or so so um i uh, i have no idea but uh, my my public speaking hymen must have re <laughs> repaired itself by now so okay let's get into it uh first things first um the housekeeping stuff likes comment subscribe share thank you so much for all of the new subscribers that i just got uh, there's so much stuff on this channel that you guys have definitely not seen yet so take your time and go through it there's everything from training dieting nutrition supplementation pharmacology um examples of other client consults uh client uh, training videos public speaking stuff um insecurity based stuff self-esteem based stuff self-confidence based stuff there's so much stuff if you just subscribe um it's a good time to subscribe because i'm starting to work back in again and i have so many more videos because i'm expecting a, another massive bump and i'm trying to like um have a bunch of good videos prepared for them as well plus tomorrow's video is going to be really good for you uh, for you guys to check out as well anyways Thank you so much for subscribing. Let's get into this. So the topic of this video actually is uh, came from the Ronnie Coleman and Joe Rogan podcast thing, which is uh, basically genetics. And I don't want to keep I, I hate it. I hate bringing up genetics again and again and again. And especially when someone has bad genetics and they keep mentioning genetics, 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 it just kind of, it kind of feels like, oh, this person is just trying to like grasp at straws or trying to find excuses or something. But that said, it, this this topic is definitely worth um, addressing at least once. So this is the video that I'm going to make to address it. And this is actually like a prequel or a uh, part one of a video that I'm going to make immediately right after this, which is uh, how did I end up looking like shit after 10 years or 11 years in the industry and reading every single book, listening to every single podcast and, working, and looking at the work of every single coach that exists out there. But part one, this one is genetics. Now, why is this really important? This is really important when you look at the stark contrast between the West versus the East. As someone that's lived in both countries and, and both sides of the planet before, that's someone that's from the East, and people that's uh, and someone that's worked in strength and conditioning with, like some of the craziest human specimens that you cannot even imagine that exist in at Harvard uh, strength and conditioning, and even some here at McMaster uh, as well. Just looking at these people and how different human beings all exist in the same time period and the same millennia, it actually feels really, really freaky. And uh, it comes down to gene genetics. I'm going to try and explain it. So one was the Ronnie Coleman podcast thing because like he was he was explaining how by the age of 30 years old, he was still natural. And apparently he's claiming to have won his first Olympia naturally, uh, which I, I have no idea. But I guess I would probably take him uh, for his word there because like because of the changes that he's made afterwards which again uh, i'll explain in this video as well uh so that's one thing uh, looking at all the other examples and um i'm going to explain to you how and what does greg always mean when he does these natty or not videos i don't like the videos per se but like how he decodes them is basically what i'm trying to explain like how you can tell when someone has good genetic genetics or not and uh, finally like one of the, some of the most annoying things is because like especially especially when you are coming from where i'm coming from like india or something we're not we're not necessarily known to be big strong people like we have a zero olympic weightlifting medals a zero bodybuilders on the uh, olympia stage pro stage we have zero uh, uh sprinters we have zero people in uh, soccer in the epl bpl all that kind of stuff again so, so fast twitch fibers everything we have a zero fast twitch fibers to do anything uh, we only have one Olympic weightlifting uh, medal by Karna Madheshwari. Uh, uh, that was like a bunch of years ago. And again, that's like a skill-based thing, but obviously a strength-based thing. And just, just the one, that's it. The Olymp only Olympic medal that we have as Indians that we can claim off um is in uh archery and i forgot the guy's name unfortunately that guy and also in chess like our grandmaster is in chess <clears throat> so up here so again so that's that's one part now what the annoying thing is when i all the time when i was growing up and i was trying to figure out why the why is my strength not even comparable to some of these people that I see? Why is my strength not comparable to even the people that I was training online back when I was back home in India and training with other people online? Okay, I was actually training my best friend um, who's also Indian, and I gave him this training program uh, that I that I already done before, right? So I gave him this training program, and he was studying in McMaster, and he he's a year older than I am, but I'd already been training for like a year and a half, two years more before he ever even touched weight. So I just gave him like this ebook training manual. I was like, this is seventy pages. Go through the whole thing. It will explain everything to you 
from training, nutrition, supplementation, everything. And it has a training program in it. Go through this thing. So he picked up that book and he went to his, uh, there's a Pulse Gym at McMaster. And he started training there uh, along with another friend of his and a couple of friends of his, actually, like two, three friends of his. And they're all white boys. Now, one of these white boys well, it turned out to be a farm uh, from some farming background or something. Now, if you understand this or don't don't understand this, if you're if you're Indian or Punjabi, then he was basically a jat. Jat means that uh, people that are coming from farmlands. So farmlands people that have origins in farmlands here in the west are just known to be the exact same thing because if you, you're you're born and brought up and raised from a family that is doing nothing but menial labor task work the entire time so you are predisposed genetically to be strong um anyway so he and, and these bunch of other guys went to the gym he's doing the exact same program as all of the other guys his friend that we're talking about joined him in the gym about three months after all of the rest of them had already had already been training my friend max started a deadlift of 295 my friend's friend the boy that we're talking about did the exact same training program and got coached by him who got coached by me uh and he was benching 315 within the first three months uh, of doing anything my friend max out at 290, 295 after a year and a half i'm talking about a year and a half on his deadlift this boy started maxing out on his benching at 315 he was he was just adding plates on like it was it was like nothing so that's just a random example i didn't even think about giving that example until it just kind of came up it came up now the reason why that even came up is all this time when i was learning and and like looking around uh at like you know how to get stronger why am i not getting the results that i think i should be getting that other people are getting etc etc every time that i went on like reddit or like youtube or any of these the cesspool of the internet basically everyone's been telling me or or these, these public comments always go out how can you not be benching 225 in the first six months or if you've been if you've been training for two years and you can't bench 225 you've been doing something seriously wrong or there's always there was always the blame game like there's something wrong you're doing something wrong you're not doing it you're not doing it you're not doing it now he, uh, i mentioned this in one of uh, in the self-esteem video trip video uh, i made a long while ago where um if you want to take a look i'll just show it to you quickly i'm sorry i did not expect this to be uh i did not set this up right but never mind <clears throat> So we'll go through this video uh, if you want. And I mentioned like when I started off benching, India does not have barbells, Olympic barbells, or did not have Olympic barbells of 45 pounds back then. We had like eight kilo barbells or something. And that's the one that I was benching back then. Um, okay, back. And um, yeah, so, and from there, eventually it took me three and a half years, four years or something to bench up to 93 kilos, just 205 pounds. And I was extremely proud of that as well, but I still never benched 225, which is like two big plates or, you know, uh, 102 kilos or something. So anyways, I just remember all that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to show you guys the difference in genetics and how much it makes a difference anyways. So let's take a look, uh, first of all, at our boy, Ronnie Coleman. Is this working? Yes, it is. Thank you. <clears throat> all right, Ronnie Coleman. So this is where it kind of came up from, but I'm just going to give you like examples of all of these people that we're looking at, right? This guy is claimed to be natty at this point. He's bigger than I will, I think, ever be in my entire life, no matter how much gear I end up using. The only way that I could possibly beat them, him here, maybe, is if I just pound the crap out of growth hormone and insulin and anabolics for the next decade or so of my life or something like there's no way that i can ever get up to being how big this guy was when he was not natural right uh and then when he later on obviously became enhanced he just became like this freak that nobody's ever seen ever seen before uh, uh in their lifetimes so that's him uh then this is kai green everybody knows who kai green is if you haven't seen him this is kai green so kai green being natural um which i believe this is also another one of him uh, when he was natural i think i mean i don't know oh yeah it seems like he's natural in this one but here's the picture that i uh, picked up i think this one here um where's the one that i actually picked up all of these ones here so this is how this guy looked when he was natural when he was this guy's like i think 16 years old or something at this point in time again bigger than i will be over the next three years to maybe four years of my life or something at, from here on out i mean um this is how this guy looked natural phil heath uh our the current reigning champion except for like sean Roden and everything else but um so this this picture isn't zoomed in but even so i hope you can see he has a, a defined cut separation in his deltoid versus a tricep versus bicep he has defined massive calves right here right i know it's a really small video <clears throat> sorry picture then and i can't show you that but again so here's a bigger picture of the same thing 
completely separated, defined adults, big ass arms while being a, a basketball player. Now, the reason why I need to mention while being a basketball player is because these guys are not training for for like strength and size. These guys are training for endurance, endurance, endurance. And like they're always uh, like it's just basic endurance. He's basically being trained as an endurance athlete, not as a strength athlete. So his type two twitch muscle fibers aren't even like uh, being trained to be big or strong or anything. And then when he became when he started training to, uh, to make them big and strong, this is what he looks like. This is Jay Cutler at the age of 18. At the age of 18, he's again bigger than anybody can ever see. Now, I am showing you guys Olympia, guys. And therefore, I, and I know that someone's going to be like, oh, of course, well, like if we give Olympia examples, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sure. There's there's four different, I forgot what the fourth one is, but there's four different reactions that you, responses that you look at. There's a training response. There's a drug response. There's a nutrition response. And there's a fourth one. I'm not sure which one it is. I don't think it's recovery response, but I forgot what it is. Um... Or maybe it's a combination of both, like a drug plus training response. I don't know what it was. I'm, I'm forgetting. So there's three different, four, three or four different genetic response factors that you have. And obviously to be the best of the best, you have to have the best. But I'm trying to show you like just purely raw, raw genes or in terms of training response, you know, what these guys had, pretty much had like when they started off. This is 18 years old. Now I'm going to show you... Um, Okay, so I want to show you this guy because this guy was a meme that was flowing, uh, floating around and it looks like a meme as well, right? There's some some Indian dude trying to like uh, try it for the Indian army or something and going for like chest measurements or something. And this this meme was floating around the internet a long while ago. Now, here's the funny thing though. This guy isn't way too much bigger than I am when I, or yeah, he really isn't way too much bigger than I am when I started off. And I'll show you pictures of myself, of course. And um, uh, this guy is not any like, he's not any skinnier than the random like like i'm gonna say like maybe 30 percent of the population 35 percent of the population back home 30 35 percent of the population men look and even women like they look like this this isn't like some freaky extra skinny guy who became a meme this is like really the most general indian person that, that can be like an ectomorph that, that can be that that's being um taken a picture of and like whatever uh, becoming a meme at this point so i'll show you pictures of myself as well but anyway so i remember this meme picture and uh, okay yeah this all came up from how did i even manage Oh, yeah, that's a different, this adds a different uh, topic, my bad. So this is, nope, that, I think, am I going to a different? Oh yeah, I'm going to different topics, my bad. Um, okay, now this guy, I want to show you, first of all, what he looks like right now. So this guy actually came, uh, passed out from the same school uh, uh, at Mohawk right here, where, where I studied as well, and I've trained him. We were training together before his first ever CPA show, where he ended up winning his first ever CPA card. Now I want to show you him at his peak. I think this is the best picture that I saw of him right now, which is like a week ago or something. I want, I want you to take a look at his like structure, the uh, size of his arms, his delts, his forearms, arms his uh chest adds everything right look at the size of this guy and then look at the size of him when he started off i'm forgetting the details that he gave me but all i can remember is that my jaw dropped when he told me the details about this picture but i don't remember exactly what he said i don't know if he said that this was the first that he said into the gym or this is like three months into him stepping into the gym this is something completely and totally ridiculous this is 2013 uploaded i don't know if this was taken a picture was taken right there or not but um uh, he is uh, 95 born, so this makes him 18 at this point in time, right? 18 years old, completely separated and defined pecs, completely separated and defined pecs, a, a separation in the middle of his abs, separation in his obliques, um, delts, yeah, separated delts, bicep vein that most people can never see, forearm vein that most people can never see until years and years and years of starting to train. This is him early on when he started off training when he was 18 years old. Uh, now I'm going to show you pictures of myself. Is it there? Is it there? Yes, there. Okay. This is me. Whoops. Okay. This is me trying. My, this is again 18. Trying my absolute hardest after going to the gym and getting as much of a pump as I possibly could. Trying my absolute hardest to flex my bicep. This is me at the age of 18. Um, this is me at the age of 18. This is probably even before that, like maybe a week or so before that. But this is the best picture that I could probably find for me for as a before picture. Uh, same thing. Same thing, same thing, same thing. See, I, see, look at this. I'm, I'm not even flexing my, uh, my arm in this because I'm trying, telling you, I was trying my hardest to flex my arm in the, in the other picture. Uh, yeah, this one. And then, okay, so th those are those ones. I want, I want you to see the difference in three years between me then versus. Uh, so this is me then, like starting off. 
versus this is two and a half years, three years into me training. Same picture, same pose, sorry, but like definitely bigger. Like, I mean, I know it's there's so many clothes, but like, yeah, uh, bigger arms, bigger pecs, bigger delts, bigger everything. So, and just basically look at the confidence and, and yeah, just look at the confidence that I have in this picture of myself. So that's like, this is me starting off in training. Um, yeah, I had something else that I wanted to mention here as well. Okay, but yeah, so this is him and this is me. Now, my point is, genetics is something that is just so overblown so overblown but it's like it's until until unless you see it it's ridiculous and i remember having this conversation with greg when i met him here when he came over here in toronto but um i told him about my time while training the athletes at harvard and the harvard football athletes that are 18 to 21 were so i saw greg right like you've seen 100 pictures of me and greg together uh, greg is like this much compared to my size obviously he's wider but he's like shorter much shorter than i am and and i was telling him that dude these guys at at, the, at harvard that i'm training i cannot it it just i can't believe that they're natty there's no way that they're natty but these guys are 20 21 are 275 pounds 265 pounds they're in the size of their bicep is big, bigger than the size of my entire torso my entire torso is not as big as their arms are and uh, i'm like those guys are like five times my size and they were at least three and a half four times your size like and we're talking about greg i and i have to be pro like there's no way that these guys were not natty but then at the same time it's like you're in school and like that's not that it just you cannot tell the difference that we're the same human beings from the same era from the same like we're at the exact same level of evolution i guess i don't know it just feels it's so ridiculous it is so ridiculous like it's it's actually mind-boggling but yeah that's the only picture uh that's the only video i think i should be making about genetics i don't want to make uh, make another one unless like i'm looking at somebody else's freaky 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 good genetics or something but yeah uh genetics makes a massive difference about where you start off from and where you end up uh this is going to be a prequel to another part of another video that that's coming up uh hopefully you guys all enjoy this if you've seen any kinds of such freaks in your life ever before uh let me know if, if there's anything else really interesting similar to genetics that you actually know of again let me know i hope you guys and girls enjoyed that and i shall see you all next time peace